Okay, today we're cooking the ribs, finally. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, it's just kind of taken me a while. I had a lot of stuff going on recently, so I um, had to take a, a little break, but now I'm back. Uh, we're gonna do these ribs. I just got them in my local grocery store. You can get them anywhere you want if you got some fancy meat uh, butcher shop in your area, then by all means use that. So anyway, we're gonna cook these up. We're gonna sous vide them. It's gonna take about four hours. I've, uh, I've never done it in the sous vide. Um, I'm used to doing them on the smoker or throw them on the, on the kettle and, uh, and kind of babysitting them and watching over them that way and they turn out great. But uh, I've, I've heard this is a good way to do it. You don't have to babysit it, you just throw in the bag um, with just a little bit of seasoning on top. And then you, you kind of don't put your rub on until the end. That's when, you know, it's already cooked, you throw your rub on and then you get it to char, you can sauce it or whatever you want to do. But anyway, we're cooking it at 181 degrees for four hours. That should give it a, uh, a kind of a fall off the bone texture. So what I'm gonna do is I just got a bowl here with just some brown sugar and salt. I'm just gonna put it in a Ziploc bag, a two gallon Ziploc bag, and I might double it up just because we're, we're dealing with some hotter water today. Um, and I'm gonna put a little bit of apple cider vinegar um, in the bag. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. So let's go ahead and get this on here. Coat that meat really good. So I'm gonna kinda let that chill for a couple minutes and wait for our water to heat up and then we'll throw in the bag with the apple cider vinegar. Okay, I have decided that this is too big for my bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it in half. And that's how you do that. All right, here's the ribs, just coated with salt and sugar. Um, all that salt and sugar is kind of melted into the meat. It looks delicious already. Like I said, since this is such a high temperature cook that I'm doing, um, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do two bags. I'm gonna double it up just in case. It'll just give me, cause these are cheap, you know, um, knockoff brand Ziploc bags. That'll just give me a little more insurance that, you know, in case these seals come undone, uh, there's two bags. Oh yeah, juicy ribs. And, and I'm just gonna shoot it with just a little bit of apple cider vinegar in here. Not too much, just something for it to swim around in. That's good. Yeah, I'll do it like this. Yeah, that's good. That'll be better. Stand up a little bit. Better. Okay, we are currently at 176, almost 177, um, and it's it's doing its thing where it's just taking sweet ass time to get up temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in, and then you know it's it's gonna be in there for four hours, so it might take another. 20, 25 minutes for it to get up to actual temperature, but it'll still be sitting at 181 for the bulk of the time, so I think it will be okay. Um, this is definitely hot enough to uh, to cook the pork, so I have no concerns about uh, bacteria growth at all. So we're gonna go ahead and drop them. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, see you in four hours. Four hours is up and the ribs are done. We're gonna get them out here in just a little bit. Um, but before I do that, I figured I'd mix up my, uh, my rub. So we're all ready to do that when they come out. So what we have is just a little bit of onion powder, paprika, garlic powder, chili powder, some fresh black peppercorns, and then uh, We'll uh, put some barbecue sauce on them and throw them in the oven for, I don't know, 15 minutes. So here's what they look like right out of the bag. Look at this. Bones really came off, um, started coming out. Uh, this, this is just going to fall right off the bone, I promise you. What do you want? It smells good. So let's get the uh, let's get the 
rub on there and get some sauce on them, get them in the oven. Here they are, fresh out of the oven. They were in there about 375 uh, for about 10 minutes. Got a nice glaze going on them. Oh yeah, they smell really good. Let them cool for just a couple minutes and we'll get into them. Mm. Let's just see if we can cut these. Oh my. It's seriously cutting like I cut it through a stick of room temperature butter. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that. Juicy meat. That's a clean bone right there. Really good. You gotta try this. All meat. They're perfect. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. And I really look forward to any comments and questions you guys have. Definitely gotta check this out. If you have a sous vide cooker, you gotta try this. The only other thing I do different is I would definitely, um, when it gets warmer out, throw these in the smoker for an hour or something. They are great.